Hi guys, uh, in this video we will see how to design an IR butter filter, uh, band pass and band reject. Uh, we have an example, uh, sampling, uh, data is sampled at 1 kHz, design a band pass filter with less than 3 dB of ripple in the pass band, defined from 200 Hz to 300 Hz. This is the bandwidth of stop band 300 minus 200 and at least 60 dB of attenuation in the stop band defined from 100 Hz to 400 Hz that is 400 minus 100 is the stop band bandwidth and the Nyquist frequency is half of the sampling frequency. You see its magnitude so this is a pass band bandwidth and this is a stop band bandwidth corresponding to pass band gain we will be having two frequencies FP1 and this is FP2 corresponding to stop band attenuation we will be having FS1 and we will be having here FS2 ok so this is to be 0 Hz this should be half of the sampling frequency so at this is stop band at gain uh, sorry pass band gain 3 dB so at minus 3 dB FP1 and FP2 FP1 should be 300 and FP2 is uh, FP1 is 200 and FP2 is 300 similarly at K is equal to minus 60 dB I need to have 100 Hz and 400 Hz so F stop or FS1 is 100 Hz and FS2 is 400 Hz so these are the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, six data I need to design a Butterworth IIR filter. Ok, we will write the code for it. So we have sampling frequency as 1 kilohertz. We have Kp is 3, Ks, Ks is 60, Fp1 is 200 and FP2 is 300, FP1 is 200 and FP2 is 300. Similarly, so FS1 is 100 and FS2 is 400. We convert this into normalized frequency. Omega P1 is equal to FP1 divided by half of the sampling frequency, FS by 2. Omega P2 is equal to FP2 divided by half of the sampling frequency. FS1, sorry, w, WS1 is equal to FS1 divided by, divided by half of the sampling frequency. WS2 is equal to FS2 divided by half of the sampling frequency. Now we will get the order and cutoff frequency. Order and WC the cutoff frequency is equal to PUTT, PUTT, ORD of WP1, WP2. Since you have two cutoff frequencies, similarly in a square bracket. WS1, WS2, KP, comma, KS. Okay, fine. So we got the output. The order minimum orders is actually N, and the cutoff frequency. And Ok, uh, the order I need to have is 5 and cutoff frequency uh, again since it's a band pass we will be having two cutoff frequencies uh, one cutoff frequency in between here and the other cutoff frequencies in between here so now we get the coefficient so B space A is equal to B U T T E R butter of order comma cutoff frequency comma and the type of the filter 
band pass. Okay, so this is B by A numerator and denominator coefficients. Again, B naught plus B one z power minus one. This is zero. B two zero. B four zero. B six so dot dot dots. One plus A one, A two, A three, A four dot dot dot. If you want to see its magnitude frequency response, the for EQ z of B comma A comma one thousand comma F S. Okay. At minus three, we will be having two hundred and three hundred hertz, and at minus sixty, somewhere here, we will be having minus sixty in the sense here. So we will be having somewhere around hundred hertz to so four hundred hertz. Uh, similarly, if you want to design band stop filter, you just have to change this to S T O P. So that we get to see the magnitude frequency response of a band stop filter. We can have FS1 as we can have FS1 as 50 and FS2 as 480 and FP1 as 100. And FP2 as 400, and we run it. Yeah. So this is on the previous case. The specification was not, I mean, suitable for band stop filter. So I just change the specification now. So we have like from two uh, from 100 hertz to 400 hertz, 100 hertz to 400 hertz, so it has to pass, and from 200 hertz to 300 hertz, it has to block. So this is how we design Butterworth IIR filter. Thanks.